Tungsten inert gas welding, also known as gas tungsten arc welding, is a welding process that fuses metals by using a tungsten electrode to heat up and melt a metal. The tungsten electrode is inserted into a torch. The torch is connected to the welder and the welder itself provides the electrical current needed to reach the optimum temperature for the metal to melt. When you hold the tungsten just above the metal and press the torch switch, a cone-shaped bright light between the tip of the electrode and the metal occurs. This we call the arc. The arc conducts the current between the tungsten electrode and the base metal. The metal then becomes really hot and starts to melt. A puddle of liquid metal will form, the so-called weld pool. When the tungsten is slowly being moved from one side to the other, you can see the weld pool moving along. Additional metal, called filler metal, is often added to build up the weld to make it stronger. As you're moving along, the melted metal right next to the weld pool starts cooling down and solidifies. That is how the weld starts to form. During the tick welding process, the tungsten electrode does not melt off because it has a really high melting point. Therefore, the tungsten is a non-consumable electrode. Whilst welding, there is not only a current, but also inert gas flowing out of the torch. The inert gas does not interact with other gases and acts as a shielding gas that prevents contaminants from ambient air entering the molten well pool. Besides protecting the well pool, the shielding gas also helps to cool down the weld. Argon is usually used as a shielding gas. The gas is stored in a gas cylinder under really high pressure. This pressure is far too high to weld with, so a regulator is connected to the cylinder to reduce the pressure to a usable level. Often there is also a flow meter attached to control how much gas is flowing out of the torch. In order for the current to flow, you need a closed electrical circuit. Therefore a work lamp is clamped onto the workpiece or the table. It is connected to the welder through the work cable. It's also possible to connect a foot pedal to the welder to control the amount of heat that is fed into the metal. A foot pedal can be used instead of a switch or thumb wheel on the torch. This, in a nutshell, is the TIG welding process.